Mazaku here today to give you guys a One Punch Man Satama episode 10 review. Now this is a whole new art and it looks like shit is really gonna get real because when I seen a fucking room full of these S ranks, I knew shit gotta go down. It gotta go down. It, it, the fact that said Thomas in there, I don't give a fuck if he's a B rank or not. He's in there with them S class motherfuckers, man. And I'm telling you, I don't even read the manga, but I know this man. It, he will whoop all of their asses with one fucking punch. It's like it's like sitting in a room and you know you got the biggest dick, and you knew all these all all you all these niggas up there they got bad bitches, but you know my dick bigger than y'all's. You know you can fuck they bitch. That's the vibe, the feeling I was getting, you know, when they was all sitting in that conference room. When this episode starts off, it, um, a big ass dinosaur. First off, when he said now that the sea king is going, like we could do shit, I'm like, okay, you're about to get one shotted very easily. You came out weaker than the last villain. This is about to be a slaughter match. So who comes down, motherfucking, you know, my white bitch, you know, tornado and shit, you know, coming down after you know receiving some Azaku did. So she come down the plane and shit. You know what I mean? Because she can't walk yet. Yeah. <laughs> and she basically does a fucking murder and fucking kills this man. <laughs> like, first off, this dinosaur is stupid as shit. He basically gave you the, the answer to killing him. The only way they really destroy me is to send a meteor down. Okay. She does that shit. I, I'm like... Damn, bitch. The fuck? Too strong. Too strong. Very overpowered, but... I like her character. I like her bratty little character. He she gets angry fast like most fucking females. And it seems like her little gimmick thing or her comedic relief is gonna be people talking about her being a little girl or some shit like that. But whatever. I mean it's a little ass boy, a prodigy in the S rank division. So I don't see why that's even her gimmick. Should be most likely his, cause he's a little boy with a fucking lollipop. Stronger than Janos apparently. I don't know what what the, who's his father? That's the real question. Who's his fucking father? Because if you were strong at this age, your father could have been the same thing. And if your father's a grown man, shit could be scary. Hell, his father could be the uh, the number one rank. But regardless, apparently during this conference meeting, we find out it's an old lady that um apparently predicts futures and shit that's like happening to the earth. She predicts shit. And they are 100% accurate. And before she died choking on my dick, um, she basically said the earth is in trouble. So they take that in account, and that's why all the S ranks are in the room. And they're talking about you guys have to be, you know, available for the next six months. Cause that's what the old lady said. And St. Thomas says, "What if these niggas like come today or tomorrow?" And then the guys like, "Oh yeah, I suppose that is an option." And it fucking happens. Aliens attack these motherfuckers. And by the way, this ship is fucking huge. Way, I mean, like this. This is like the size of a small city, and it completely decimates the city that they're in. Only thing that really survived is the actual, you know, headquarters of the Heroes Association, because apparently the guy with the bat somehow did some shit with it. That's why it doesn't have windows. Maybe it's like ultra, you know, defensive, whatever. But some heroes, actually, all the heroes go out. Apparently, I think so. Yeah, heroes go out to uh, attack and defend. The guys, uh, fuck, what's his name? The guy's people. Samurai, I believe that's his name. Super Samurai, whatever the fuck is. I think he's ranked four. Uh, he's right before um the dojo dude. And he's cutting them up. Doesn't happen. Samurai cuts them up in a more devastating fashion. But they just keep regenerating, so I don't think they can actually die. But it's a clear difference in the power of strength. Because the Samurai dude, even though we can't kill him, is definitely in a much higher fucking level with, than him. Like, this monster alien dude won't have any fucking chance against the samurai dude he just do good so he he this he's toying with him he's cutting him up and shit but then we get a scene where, um the gay dude butterflies up and he actually took some advice from the sea king i said kind of like that because there's some development in him so i don't know if they're going to show him more in the show and he starts attacking with all the intent to kill so i respect that about him and his character whoever wrote that shit and so time the whole time is on the motherfucking um ship murky niggas left and right and he says this should be like around the time where the boss comes out which it kind of is because anybody ever played like golden axe or Streets of Rage, when you fuck up enough motherfuckers, that boss come out of nowhere. And surely enough, what I think it is, we get a 
like an alien dude with a big ass eye on his head. I'm like, this nigga looks like he's gonna. I think this is gonna take more than one punch this time because he's not from Earth. You know, he's not an Earthling. So therefore, it's gonna take a lot more to really do away with this kind of opponent. And one punch man, Satama, I'm telling you, he's gonna knock his ass the fuck out. Maybe not with one punch, but maybe two punches. But since this shit called One Punch Man, I'm gonna put it past my nigga Satama. Can't wait for, for the next episode. I get this episode a 10 out of motherfucking 10, man. Fazaku out. Just like the anime that was good this fucking week. But it's alright, people. This was a good episode. Um, I still stand by my work. That last episode had me ready to fucking. <sighs> This arc needs to take off, man. That's can't wait. I just can't wait. Man, all the possibilities, man. It makes it makes me want to read the manga, but I'm like, no, Masaku, no. And by the way, people, that new laptop, that shit is here. That nigga destroyed that laptop, and he fucking bought another one. He bought the same fucking model, nigga. And we back. And I'm about to spend the rest of my night reading that One Piece greatness because. Dragon Ball Super is so fucking corny. You know, the Super manga isn't that bad. Well, yeah, the manga really isn't that bad. The manga's pretty good. Especially that, yo, I can't wait to the seven universe shit. Oh. Fuck it. This not even a Dragon Ball video, but whatever. Saitama, my nigga. Genos, my nigga. I like all the characters. All the s rings are pretty cool. I just want to see all of their abilities. And we got to see this fucking rank. One, excuse me, because he's a fucking, supposedly the world's strongest man. Excuse me, going to be second to my nigga Saitama because, rank one, I don't know who the fuck you is. I don't know who the fuck you are. I don't know what bitches you fucking. But you not fucking Saitama's bitch. Mazaku, nigga. We out.